In the last episode of Frog Watch, I didn't mention my tadpoles or frogs at all, so I thought this week we'd talk exclusively about the kinds of frogs and toad species that you might find here in the UK. Welcome to Frog Watch. Right, so before we get onto that, just a quick update about my tadpoles here. At this stage in their lives, not much really happens with them. They're not growing legs yet, that'll be a few more weeks. They are growing bigger, but there's not really much to talk about them at the moment. Uh, we have had some quite nice sunny weather over the last few weeks, and this room gets quite sunny. We have these the blinds drawn, but it does get quite a lot of sun in here, which does mean that the algae growth on the stones uh, is getting a lot more. So the stones will be starting to turn green. It's perfectly normal. That ha kind of happened last year as well. So that's nothing to worry about. Um, but other than that, there's not really much to talk about. If you're interested to know what's happening with my wildlife garden project, uh, I had a really helpful comment in the last video suggesting that maybe I should do that as a separate series. So that's what I'm going to be doing going forward. So uh, any wildlife garden will be in that separate, uh, their own series. And this series will be just concentrating on frogs and tadpoles, that sort of thing. So with that in mind, let's dive in and have a look at the kind of species of frogs and toads that you might find here in the UK. And just a little bit of information about some of them. Hope you enjoy. The common frog is a subject of most of this series and is the species I have tadpoles of in my aquarium. They are found all over Britain and Ireland and are widespread across Europe. Although fairly common, numbers are thought to be in decline. Adult males grow up to 9cm in length and females up to 13cm in length. They reach breeding age at around 2 to 3 years and spawn can be laid as early as January depending on local weather conditions, but usually around late March, early April. Spawn will hatch after 2 to 4 weeks. Common frog tadpoles can be identified by their golden speckled appearance. It can take up to 16 weeks for their back legs to emerge and their front legs will follow shortly thereafter. Over the next few days the tadpoles will absorb its tail and emerge from the water as a little froglet. This is usually in early summer but can be as late as September. They spend the summer and autumn getting ready for hibernation by eating insects, slugs and worms. In winter they will shelter under rocks, in compost heaps or at the bottom of ponds. It's not a true hibernation and they may be seen active during milder periods of winter. The UK's other native frog is the pool frog. These are a much rarer sight. The species was actually presumed extinct in the UK in the 1990s but has since been reintroduced at a secret site in the county of Norfolk. This is actually where I live but I have no idea where the site is. The frogs have legal protection in the UK, making it illegal to kill, injure, capture, disturb or sell them, or to damage or destroy their habitats. This applies to all life stages. So there will be no pool frog frog watch in the future. They are smaller than the common frog, with females growing up to 9cm and the males much smaller. The common toad is found throughout Britain, but is not found in Ireland. It's fairly common across Europe, but numbers are thought to be declining rapidly. They produce a toxin in their skin, making them distasteful to predators, although some, such as the otter, are known to remove the skin before eating them. Toads prefer deeper water to breed in, and our tadpoles can be distinguished from common frog tadpoles by their black colour. The adults can tolerate much drier conditions than frogs and spend most of their time on land. The UK's other toad species is the natterjack toad. In Britain they can be found in coastal areas in sand dunes, grazing marshes and sandy heaths. They like warm, shallow ponds to breed in. They are now very rare and only live in around 60 sites in Britain and a small number of sites in southwest Ireland. Reintroduction programs are attempting to increase populations and this species is also protected by law. They are much more common in Western Europe, however. Adults grow up to 8 cm in length. They are quite short legs but are very quick over land, but they are not great swimmers. These are the only native species in the UK, but there are others you might come across. The marsh frog and the edible frog are two very closely related species of green frog that have been introduced into the UK and have since become so successful that they are considered naturalised. Adult marsh frogs can grow up to 15cm in length. Adult edible frogs are much smaller. The edible frogs are the ones that you are most likely to eat if you ever eat frog's legs. In their native ranges, it is generally threatened by aquatic pollution, often agrochemicals, and drainage of wetland habitats. According to the IUCN website, the frog leg trade and high levels of pollution are leading to significant declines in populations in former Yugoslavia. 
Populations of marsh frogs, however, are actually increasing, which makes for a nice change. Conservation groups suggest that the marsh and edible frogs do not compete with our native frogs and are not a danger to the local ecology. The same cannot be said for the North American bullfrog. This is a non-native species that has successfully bred in the wild in the UK. This animal is a significant threat to native amphibians and sightings should be reported immediately. These frogs are huge compared with our native frogs and will eat amphibians and other animals of similar size. They were originally introduced to Britain through the pet trade and probably found their way into the countryside when owners decided to get rid of spawn or tadpoles in nearby ponds. In 1999 they bred for the first time at a site in England and have since been controlled by Natural England. There are a few other non-native frog and toad species that may be found in the UK. The African clawed toad, sometimes called the African clawed frog, was traditionally used in medical testing, particularly in pregnancy tests and many were released from laboratories and hospitals as well as subsequently through the pet trade. It is thought to be one of the species responsible for bringing various amphibian diseases into the UK. They feed underwater and predate on tadpoles of our native amphibians and aquatic invertebrates. They have a flattened green body, large back legs and black claws on the outer three toes of the hind feet. The midwife toad is known to be established in the Bedfordshire area of England. They are usually identified by their distinctive core which is a clear, high-pitched staccato whistle, often described as an electronic beeping sound, much like a smoke alarm running on a low battery. The tadpoles are relatively large, up to 6 or 7 centimetres long, compared to the adults, which are quite small, up to about 5 centimetres long, and grey. Adult male midwife toads can be seen carrying eggs wrapped around their back legs, which is where their name comes from. All right, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, look out for some wildlife garden uh, project videos coming soon, and hopefully you'll join me back next week for some more Frog Watch. Thank you, and I'll see you then. Goodbye.